Oh. Great stuff. <laughs> Just give me a second there. Hoping that you're having a fantastic day. Okay, there we go, there we go. Right. Great stuff. Hope you're having a fantastic day. Uh, it's, what is it today? Wednesday, Thursday? I lose track of these days, man. They always keep piling up. My name is Prosper Taruvinga and, oh, snap, one second, one second. Jeez, see, I need a team behind the scenes. My name is Prosper Taruinga, and I'm um, really excited to have you joining me on this 30-minute segment of the Lunch and Learn. Um, I'm the CEO and founder of Live Long Digital, your um, full-scale digital marketing agency, and also the founder of, uh, ah, the creator, the creator, the creator. Oh my God, my head is not in, in, in one place here. The creator of the Online Prosperity Blueprint, your one-stop uh, or oh, four-step system to a business that's profitable and enjoyable, okay? So obviously, after this 30 minutes, I'm hoping that I will leave you in a position where you're going to be able to earn a little bit more than you are currently within your business with less struggle and also you gaining a bit of recognition within your industry and people that actually want to do business with you, okay? So if this is your first time tuning in, thank you so much. I mean, obviously... We might have started off with a few glitches, but this is going to be one of those shows that you would actually want to tell somebody about. So if you do watch this video up until the end of this show, please share this video because at the end of the day, I'm not doing this for a popularity contest, but I really want to help people succeed. I want to help you. I want to help a lot more other people to actually have a business that's profitable and enjoyable. Now we've got Nicole who's just tuned in. Thank you so much. I'm really excited to have you on board. You give me so much energy and I love that. Paul, how are you doing, man? I love that you're sharing my stuff all the time. Thank you so much. If ever there is anything I can do for you, please let a brother know. All right. Okay. So today we're talking about something that a lot of people don't really put into consideration. You know why? Because, nah, it's still a little bit too far. Tell me something. If you can guess... How many days is it till Christmas right now? Would you know how far Christmas is um, as we speak at the moment? All right. I want you to type it in there. If you know, type how many days is it till Christmas? You can look it up. Um, we can check it out. You see, the thing is, you don't want to wait until it's too late to gear up on your holiday marketing uh, rush, okay? You know why? Because customers are already searching what they want to give their loved ones as gifts. Now, if you're not in line with them right now while they're searching when things are calm, then you're not gonna make any sales over the holiday season, all right? Uh, this is something that a lot of you know startup um, entrepreneurs might not have experienced because maybe you only just started this business three months ago, six months ago, or four months ago, and you still haven't made any sales. If you really want to start winning the online game, you need to start preparing your holiday business right now, okay? You know why I'm saying this? Because nine times out of 10, a lot of people always leave it up until last minute to make their Christmas shopping, but those that are prepared, those that are money savvy, and those that are actually, um, you know, that actually care about their family and friends are starting to make those purchases now. All right. Even if they're not making those purchases, you can prompt them to start thinking towards that, um, you know, that um, that period. Remember, Christmas is only just one single day, but it is a billion dollar industry. Okay, one day that could actually change the way people do business with you. All right, but people are not just going to buy from you today just because you showed them or they're not just going to buy from you just because they're in the Christmas or giving spirit. You got to start prompting them now so that they can actually start doing business with you. All right. A lot of people fall short of this strategy. You know why? Because they think Christmas is still far away or Halloween is still far away or Thanksgiving is still far away or Black Friday is still far away. All right. Have you noticed how days, you know, 
turn into months and months turn into years and you know how we just started 2017 it was valentine's not so long ago and now it's already you know june i mean it's already august and soon it's going to be halloween and after that it's going to be thanksgiving then thanksgiving is going to be christmas after christmas is going to be new year's all right you're not going to be left any space for you to change your 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 designs you're not going to be left any space for you to put out your your um your offers to 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 the public if you're not prepared in advance now if you're a small business person obviously you can change the look on your window or you can change your website just to suit whatever season it is but for some businesses that i work with we already have to start now to prepare okay and obviously like i always say people need to see your stuff six to eight times before they make a, 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 a rational decision as to should they purchase from Paul or Yawit or should they should they purchase from from Prosper okay so you want to start making those preparations now and putting the Christmas campaigns or the marketing campaigns in gear or if you're not gonna you know implement now at least have them ready for when the time to deploy is there you are not rushing uh, around like a headless chook all right so you know we might be in the midst of summer right now you know and most of us might just be chilling and lounging um some people not summer summer that will be in the states and um you know we are just slowly going out of winter in australia so this is when festivals start people start sparking up the grill or the barbecue and you know people are relaxed because you know it was really tense over winter but if you're an entrepreneur this is not the time to relax this is the time to actually to see where was your business and where is it headed to all right and if you haven't made any sort of money in the last three quarters the last quarter should be your home run okay and you know while other guys are so you know relaxed and you know as an entrepreneur why am i coming to you today and get you to start thinking about you know preparing your campaigns for the holiday season all right there are a lot of, um, you know, maybe impl impulse buyers out there, but a lot of people these days are now savvy enough that they're actually buying presents way in advance. Okay? I don't know if, you, if you're actually following my stuff and everything else that I'm doing. My birthday is on the 24th of August, and I already have a list of gifts that I want from people. So if you haven't, you know, opened up your heart to get me a gift for my birthday, just type in gift and I'll send you a link to my Amazon wish list. All right. You see, that's preparation in advance. All right. What I'm talking about here is some people can be impulse buyers, right? So that they can get people Christmas presents, but some people plan in advance. All right. You want to be at the forefront of those people that are already making, you know, purchases for presents, Halloween gifts or Christmas uh, presents for their loved ones. Are you doing enough to be in front of those people with the right kind of offers, whatever discounts or coupons that you might have to put yourself ahead of your competition? You know, so at the end of the day, some people might neglect this video or might not find it um, useful. But when the time comes, you're not going to have space to breathe when customers are knocking on your door and they want stuff. All right. The things that I'm going to be talking about today is to make sure your website is ready for high traffic. Your website is ready for when people smash the doors on Black Friday. Unless you're a teeny weeny business that is only going to shut up next week, then maybe you can leave this call. But if you are serious about making a business that's profitable and enjoyable, this call is actually going to be one for you. And Sans Fafkan says, <laughs> you are on fire. Thank you so much, man. If this is the first time you're actually tuning in, I welcome you. And for the next 30 minutes or maybe 25 minutes, we talk about stuff that you might find not so useful, but it will actually change the way you business. It will actually earn you a lot more money and you will struggle a whole lot less than when everybody else is out there trying to make a dollar out of whatever 50 cents they have. All right. So if you haven't 
thought about, you know, your long-term strategy and thought about, have you got anything lined up for Halloween? Have you got anything lined up for my birthday, which is in like 24 days? Have you got anything lined up for Thanksgiving? Have you got anything lined up for Christmas? Right? If you haven't got campaigns that are ready to deploy now, I think you're, you're missing out on, on, the, on the traffic that's already looking for those things, that's already searching to buy Christmas gifts or things to do for their business in the next year. All right, a lot of people are really, really um, going, you know, out of their way right now to make sure they never go out of budget. But if you present them something, you are not competing with a lot of people that are saying, buy now, buy now, buy now. All right, you're giving people an opportunity to decide. And when you give people an opportunity to, to decide, they reciprocate because you are in uncluttered territory. All right, so, you know, for you, if you fail to plan, you literally plan to fail. Apparently, there's researches that are happening and there's people that are smarter than me that say, I think, I can't quite remember, but they were saying like 57% of people, they carefully plan their consumer purchases way ahead of Christmas. All right. Now, if you really look at it, August, September, October, November, December, literally, we only have four months. By the time you think of doing this, we only have three months and everybody else is already, um, you know, advertising. Then you already get lost in the crowd again and you start complaining that, ooh, things are not working out for me when you don't plan that much ahead. OK, so to become part of this equation, to become part of, you know, the whole um, no fighting for for Christmas purchases, you need to get your brand message in front of the people as earlier as possible, faster than your competition. Your competition right now is not even thinking about what they're going to do next week. You want to be thinking a month, a year, two years in advance. That way, nothing comes up by surprise because nothing would would annoy you as an entrepreneur when things just rock up and you are not prepared for them. All right. So doing, you know, anything else can actually just je jeopardize your business without you realizing, you know, you might then just, you know, want to react to a Christmas um, offering. By the time you try and do that, you're already missing out on people that want to you to, to use your services for maybe Valentine's, etc, etc. So you really got to be head and shoulders above or ahead of everyone else. That's why here at Live Long Digital, every beginning of the month and every end of the month, we take all our clients and see where they are and where they want to be. And then we just reverse engineer that and make sure that we've deployed their campaigns before the time comes so that we don't have too much pressure and we can also take time out to go on holiday. Now, can you imagine if you've got all your Christmas, um, you know, click funnels ready or your funnels are ready right now, you would actually go on holiday and not even worry. You just click a button and then you deploy your, your, your marketing. All right. Because you've had time to test it out. You've had time to check if it actually works or if it actually converts. All right. You cannot test a funnel in two days or on the 30th. Or, I mean, on, on, on the 20th and hope to make sales over Christmas or on Black Friday. So you want to make sure you start testing them out now, breaking them so that you would actually have a holiday and you can actually enjoy this whole entrepreneurial journey. All right. Because I know something. The reason why I come up every single day is because most of my clients that I first talk to, first of all, when they start, they have no leads. They have no guaranteed income. They're studying everything on the Internet just to get ahead. They have no system to follow or they don't even have a process around how they get the customer, what they do when they get the customer and what to do when the customer wants more from them, etc., etc. OK, so they just got no freedom and they're tied up to their computer all the time. Some of them, they are alone and they don't have maybe a network and they're struggling to make enough income. Now, if any of that resonates with you, I know you. I know what you're going through. And that's why I'm saying right now, whatever you're doing, try to incorporate, you know, ma your marketing for the holidays because you don't want to just be reactionary when the time comes. 
All right, I'm giving you insider tricks that we're playing with the big boys. They already deployed their marketing right now. Maybe small drip feed and people are already making, making purchases that are geared for holidays. So by the time that comes in, we already know the funnel works. We already know that, you know, it's converting. And when it's Black Friday or it's Christmas, voila, we're deploying. All right. So all these things, um, you know, like I always say, the internet is making it harder and harder for people to be poor these days. But people are choosing to be poor by not thinking ahead. All right. So thanks to this whole gift giving or, you know, process, some people you can just maybe turn your services into a gift card that they can give to their relatives and they can utilize whenever they're ready. All right. Have you ever thought about putting that in the process of your business? I don't think some of you have because all we're doing is just trying to put out a campaign and hoping that people will convert. But what are we doing it for? Do we have a purpose? Do we have a plan? And do we have a strategy around it? That's why it's not converting. But if you start, you know, being um, intentional about, you know, how you put your messages out there, if you start being intentional about your SEO, what are you trying to get people to feel, do, and maybe, you know, react or respond to your campaigns? If you plan ahead, you will always be on track because you've got time to test it out and break it and see if there's any loopholes that you're not looking at. All right. So if you're in the e-commerce space, this is a no brainer. If you're a coach or a consultant or you run a small business, look at what you're serving right now. Can it be turned into a discount coupon? Can it be turned into a gift card that you can start maybe paddling on your website silently so that people have it in their mind that if they want to purchase your coaching services for somebody for next year, they can buy them from you. All right. You will be missing out on a window of opportunity and leaving a lot of money on the table if you don't put any strategies in your marketing right about now. You, Robinson, thank you so much for tuning in, buddy. OK, so obviously to answer some of the questions that you might have that, you know, um, why should I be doing this? Because you know what? Holiday season is always around the corner. Look, look at where we are now. Literally, we are almost halfway through August. Now we only have September, October, November, and December is, is a hard month. Facebook is going to put up their prices for ads. You know why? Because they know a lot of people are going to be advertising. All right. Suddenly, they'll just put up their prices and it will be expensive. And, you know, you, you won't get much of the return that you really want. And you must be on holiday. But you know what? You are really trying to get and close the year on a big bang instead of you having started now so that you're slowly chipping into whatever goal you have left. Because when you started this business, a lot of you would have been like, yeah, I want to make six figures. I want to make a thousand dollars. I want to make whatever figure you started off with. We've gone halfway through the year. How far into your goal have you achieved? All right. So this is your final chance to redeem yourself because people are going to be purchasing on Black Friday. People are going to be purchasing on uh, Thanksgiving. People are going to be purchasing on Christmas. Have you got something in place to end the year on a bang? All right. So what you want to do now is just to really, really maximize all your digital touch points. I completely always repeat these guys. People need to see your stuff at least six to seven times before they make that purchase. All right. So when the customer is going through their buying journey, sometimes it's not linear that they see your stuff, then they look at it and then whatever, whatever. Sometimes it is just a straight line. They're probably the low, low hanging fruit and then they'll just convert just like that. But Often, sometimes people are unique, people have different needs and people have different budgets. All right. So whatever they're feeling at that particular moment, if you put or plant the seed in their head that it's about to be Christmas, it's about to be Thanksgiving. Here's what you can get your loved ones. Guess what you do to them? You become their Roger Bannister. You become that person that initiates them to that way of thinking and they would now I want to reciprocate that by purchasing from you. You know why? Because they feel obligated. All right. It's just human nature. They just want to reciprocate somebody who is actually, you know, making them feel good about how they are supposed to treat those that they love. That's human nature. So within this moment, you've got an opportunity to actually grab somebody's attention. 
while they are not being bombarded by Christmas songs or Christmas carols before they stop listening to Christmas music. Have you ever noticed when it comes to September, when the shops start playing jingle bells, jingle bells, you, you stop listening to it when you go to the shopping mall. So they, and then you stop seeing the Santa hats, you stop seeing them. So you want to be in there before they are not raped by all that, um, you know, visual diarrhea that's going to be out there to hallmark Christmas. Be in there before somebody does. And you want to grab them by the, you know. So this is your only chance to sort of engage your clients and, and actually influence them to either make a decision now or when the time comes or if you are a business that's really profitable and enjoyable, to start getting them to think of starting the year using your services. Because there's not much time left. Do you know what I mean? There's not that much time left. So if you're not planning ahead, either way beyond Christmas or trying to get customers to sign up in your January you know, course or whatever it is, then you might be missing out on a lot of money on the table. Don't be reactionary. Be intentional about your marketing so that it's, it's, it's not, it becomes effortless. All right? Because if you're just going to be whacking moles, and let me tell you something, you're just going to be chasing waterfalls and then none, none of these things will work for you because you're not planning and thinking ahead. Okay? So, you know, right now what you should be doing is maybe um, looking at your pricing. Looking at the testimonials or the reviews and, and trying to get all the other customers that purchased from you at the beginning of the year to maybe leave a review and so that they can refresh your page or your content. That way, by the time it gets up to September, October, do you know what I mean? People are already looking at your stuff, looking at how good you are and then making an informed decision as to when it's time and they're ready to purchase, you be the first person they think of. All right. So those reviews and, um, you know, whatever opinions that should be there, you know, that pricing that will almost and, you know, unconsciously validate their purchasing decision. The first cut is the deepest. If you're the first person to remind them or introduce them to anything, they are obligated to pay you or to reciprocate and say, thank you for reminding me. It's going to be Christmas soon. Let me purchase something from you. All right. It's now easy for you to actually influence them in the way that you want them to make any purchases from you. Yeah. So, you know, sometimes people don't really, you know, we stab ourselves in the back by not actually thinking ahead. But that only happens to people that are not serious with their business. But if you really want a business that's profitable and enjoyable, a business that people would actually want to be a part of, you want to start thinking way ahead of your competition and making sure that all these touch points are ready. You've got a, a website that actually functions. The user experience is good. You also want to make sure that by the time it's Christmas or Black Friday, people can actually make a purchase from your website and it's not going to crush. Yeah. Because if you don't do it now, if you don't plan ahead or oh, look at all these things right now, by the time the time comes and somebody maybe is making a purchase off your, um, off your website, if a glitch happens, there's no way they're going to come back. Somebody will be advertising to them and you've missed out on that client. Okay? And right now, it's, 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 people want a personal sort of and convenient experience. So a lot of people that are making any purchases or a lot of our prospects, they, they really don't like that whole too much yaga yaga yaga, you know, in, in their face, you know? So you can then personalize this experience because you are not busy at the moment and you can give people time and you can actually answer their questions and you can actually be there for them for when they're making that decision. Yeah. Okay, so at the end of the day, half, half of the things that we, we don't normally look at, you know, especially the thinking ahead part, um, you know, making sure that our websites are clean, they're, 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 they're user friendly, and, 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 and we're not putting, you know, stuff out there to incite people to want to make purchases from us in the future. You know, I used to be that guy, you know, I used to be that guy that scrambled, um, you know, from store to store trying to look for gifts on Christmas. But now me and my wife, we've got a, a garage full of presents. 
Because our little girl is growing up, you know? So, you know, every weekend or every second weekend, there's always some kid with a birthday. We don't just rock up. You've got, you got to have presents. So whenever we go out or we go traveling, we just buy stuff. You know, even if it's not for, for my little girl, we, we just put it up in the garage. We never know when you need a present. All right. So there's people that have that sort of mentality. What they do is they're planning all year round. What are you doing to incite somebody to make a purchase from you in March next year? Maybe that's when they're ready. Have you done anything for them to buy your Halloween special? Have you done anything for them to purchase a gift from your services as a gift card to their uncle as a Christmas present? All right, so this will not only help you make money, but it will also make you stay, stay calm, you know, during the, 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 the busy season. There's nothing like having, you know, a meltdown when you are supposed to be dealing with your family Christmas and, you know, your website is not functioning. You know, that's when a lot of entrepreneurs check into emergency rooms because now they, they, there's so much pressure. They need to feed their family in the process. They need to make sure their customers are happy. But when you're well prepared and you've got a system that's been ready in case anything goes wrong, you know, it's a system that now supports your work and your life. Do you know what I mean? You now are actually an entrepreneur. You're not just whacking moles and, you know, being reactionary. You are now an intentional entrepreneur that knows who they are. And you're actually doing a service to your customers because you're not just rushing through any processes. Yeah. So why am I bringing this up? You know, you know, be, be, when the holidays are ages away. They're not. Because in... Because in about 15 days, in a fortnight, it's going to be my birthday. So I've got a wish list that I have and I really want you to help me out. It's a wish list for me to put a lot of books in my library so that I can read them. I'm always reading stuff. That's where all this stuff comes from. So if you want to purchase a book that's already in the wish list, most books are like seven bucks anyway. For you to just say thank you for, you know, spending the time with you every single day since last year for 30 minutes without fail. If you really want to make a purchase, I've got a wish list that I can send to you. So just type in gift and I'll send you through the link to the wish list. Thank you so much. You know, at the end of the day, I really want you to win. I really want you to earn money, you know, and I really want you to do it with less struggle. All right. I want you to get a lot of recognition because if you are not putting yourself out there now, the big guys are going to start playing the jingles in your customers ears and you can't compare with that. You know? So, you know, I do business this way. I always make sure that my staff, my people, my family, they're ready for anything. They're ready for when, 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 when the busy season comes in. You know, it just doesn't benefit my company. I do this to make sure that my partners and all those people that I'm working with, they're all ready so that no one is going to be suffering during Christmas. And this always keeps the good spirit of a holiday because you don't want people to start running away from you because you, you have unfinished business and they want to be away on holiday. You know, you know what I mean? People who, who don't want to be your, 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 your clients next next um next 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 year because you're not prepared all right and and then the fact that you you don't even take time off on holidays will also constitute and show people that you really 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 are not you know an ample business person you know so try and figure out what it is that you've got to do Right now to make sure that, you know, the user experience for people's Christmas is, 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 um, you know, is, is seamless. It's very simple, guys. You know, if your website is not loading on time, no one has time to, to sit around and wait for it to load. You know, if the website, you know, load time is lagging, your visitors will become annoyed, right? And then they'll click the back button and that's them lost for the rest of your life. 
So if there's going to be a large traffic flow, you know, over Black Friday or Christmas, et cetera, et cetera, guys, you really, really need to make sure that you are making sure that everything is all systems check before it's time to, um, you know, before the time comes in. A lot of customers have become internet savvy, you know, so you want to make sure that you are not annoying them by not being prepared, you know. So just go beyond what your customers actually expect and use the digital landscape that we now have to actually enhance and also, you know, personalize those relationships that you're creating in a meaningful way, you know, and creating a really, really good shopping experience, both either online or offline. Because when, when, when people are asking you questions, when it's busy, you become a little bit, you know, rude. You don't want to be like that. You know, but if you're nice to them and you're cool, calm and collected right now, you're not in a rush. All they're going to do is they're going to return the favor with better engagement, greater loyalty. And what a good way to start the holiday. All right. I really want you to win. I really want you to make a lot of money with less struggle. And I really want you to gain recognition within your industry that you love. And so that you can have a business that's profitable and enjoyable. If you really like this video, please share it. For me, this is not a, comp a competition with anyone. Somebody must want to hear these words today and it might save them, you know, their business and you might come up a victor, all right? So in the meantime, I really, really appreciate your time, guys. Thanks, Stephen, for tuning in. I really enjoyed watching your video yesterday. That was, you know, um, amazing, right? So if you share this video, please do. And if you really, really want to um, offer us a gift for my birthday, just type in gift and I'll send you through my wish list. Thank you so much, guys, for tuning in. Speak to you again tomorrow.